Hi everyone, I'm True Soul, and this is my review of the Star Wars Black Series 40th Anniversary Empire Strikes Back Snow Speeder Luke. So, yeah, guys, I've been waiting to get my hands on this guy for a while. Uh, I ordered him from Amazon, and for whatever reason, he actually uh, had got delayed. I don't, I'm not sure why, but doesn't really matter because he's here now and I got him um I don't know guys I'm, I'm really liking the look of this uh, Luke there are some similarities that he has compared to other loops that have come out and I'm actually gonna touch on that a little bit in the video but before we get too far ahead of ourselves let's go ahead and open this bad boy up about the lighting there real quick <laughs> but uh yeah guys here is the Hoff Luke in all of his well it's not Hoff Luke it's actually Snow Speeder Luke but yeah before we get into the uh review um when it comes to th this version of Luke uh when I was a kid I actually thought that it was just regular old pilot Luke but it is actually not and I thought it would be fun to do a little comparison while we're reviewing this figure of the actual pilot loop. Now this is the actual pilot loop from A New Hope. And as you can see here there's actually a few similarities but uh, there's actually a lot of differences too. Um, I'm not sure if it's just the figure or not but you can tell with the snow speeder loop that the uh, orange on his outfit is a lot more uh, intense and it's a little bit more of a darker orange as opposed to the A New Hope Luke. And also the boots are a little bit different. And the top piece of the shirt or hoodie or whatever it is you want to call it uh, actually uh, comes down and um, is slightly divided by a belt that they have here. And now that I actually have this Snow Speeder Luke, I actually like this outfit just in general for the pilots a little bit more than... Uh, the regular pilot outfits of course these are the outfits that they wore whenever uh, they were actually flying the snow speeders so that's actually pretty cool and unique uh, we're gonna talk a little bit more about uh, this comparison to the pilot Luke later but first of all let's go ahead and get into the overall look of the snow speeder Luke now I've been hearing that uh, in terms of Mark Hamill's likeness they've kind of been having trouble making the figure kind of look like him but as far as I'm concerned uh, they did a pretty good job uh, you can it looks like Mark Hamill enough or should I say Luke Skywalker enough where it doesn't really bug me a whole lot in that uh, area so yeah I really like that a lot um, like I said before, I'm actually not used to seeing this outfit close up. So now that I actually have a figure of it, uh, I actually like it a lot. You can notice all the little pockets that it has throughout the uh, figure. It has a little hood right here. Uh, I'm not sure if it's a hood, but it kind of looks like a hood. So I think that looks pretty cool and unique. And yeah. Um, other than the few differences that I had pointed out earlier that it has to the the uh, oh yeah I almost forgot if you guys look right here he also has a little uh, peg that you can use to put his lightsaber on let's see if that actually works I don't know what some of these figures for whatever reason that holster actually doesn't work and it does guys the lightsaber fits on there pretty good although usually with me i usually display my jedi having their lightsabers out only because you know they don't they don't make uh the individual lightsabers like with the lightsaber activated and with it deactivated which i actually kind of miss now but i might talk about that in a, another video but that's looking really good and really like that a lot so now that we've kind of covered the overall look, oh, also the helmet, 
I believe it's actually the same helmet that the pilot Luke has, because I can't remember what squad leader uh, Luke is. Can you call the guys comment down below if you guys remember what squad leader Luke is supposed to be? But, uh, yeah, I think the helmet is actually the same. So I think we've covered all the uh, general bases in terms of just how the figure looks. And now let's go ahead and move on to his articulation. Now, as I expected, the little hood piece right here does kind of hinder Luke's articulation. That and the helmet, he can, can't look down or up that much. However, let's see what happens if we remove the helmet. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> guys. Wow, guys, what is this? It's like some type of a, uh, I don't know. It's like some type of headgear that maybe the pilots put on before they put the helmet on. I feel like I might've seen a couple of rebels wearing this in the movies, but actually seeing Luke wear it is kind of funny. <laughs> Uh, when, when I first ordered this figure, uh, I was expecting to uh, have some hair up under here, but apparently that is not the case, guys. Uh... Well, this pretty much confirms that I am definitely going to be uh, displaying Luke with his helmet on. However, with his helmet off, I still wouldn't really say he can get very much articulation out of the head. Although you can turn it total 360, so I guess if you want to make him look side to side, there you go. Uh, let's go ahead and see if he can. He can, guys. Most of the Jedi can do T-poses because they don't have uh, shoulder armor hindering their articulation. So that I like uh, a whole lot. Um, also, instead of a double-jointed uh, arms and legs he has the single joint that just has a uh, elongated a groove in it so you can still get a good bit of articulation out of that um it's weird though because in some cases I like this single joint uh, because it doesn't break up the pieces of the figure all that much so it makes it look a little bit better when you have them in certain poses like running poses and stuff like that but on the other hand sometimes uh, it Depending on the, what the figure is, it can get a little annoying because uh, the I remember when they, the Rebel Trooper first came out, and uh, because he had that single joint, uh, for whatever reason, his arm was kind of weak. So whenever I moved into a certain direction, it like, immediately broke, which I don't usually have that problem with figures that have uh, the double jointed uh, legs and um, arms, but. This Luke seems pretty sturdy, so I'm probably not gonna have to worry about that. So I'm perfectly okay with the single joints for my figure. Let's see, he also has a, a cut right here on his uh, thigh, which for some of my figures, for whatever reason, I can't make them move that piece. That the, <laughs> Even though it looks like it has articulation there, it's really hard to move, but it's not hard to move on this Luke. So that's also really good. Let's see. He has, looks like he has a little bit of articulation in the waist here, but it seems kind of stuck in there. It, you, can you guys hear that? It's like a little click. I don't want to mess with that too much. Uh, it seems mostly to be on like a ball in the waist. So eh, that's okay. Hopefully it doesn't end up breaking if I try to move it around too much. I might have to play around with that a little bit more. But uh, in terms of the poses that I want to get him in, hopefully that's not going to be too much of a hindrance. Now let's see, just for fun. Huh. Well, can't sit down completely, but I suppose that's good enough. Most of the time my Jedi don't sit down anyway. They're too busy fighting evil. 
So yeah, in terms of articulation, I wouldn't really say there's a whole lot new except for this ball joint, which I think one reason why it might be a little bit hard to move is because this piece right here is made out of a tougher, stronger plastic material. So when I try to move it, I can't really move it from side to side that much, but I can move it up and I can move it down. Um, I'll, be, I'll be showing you guys some, some pictures while I'm talking of me posing the Luke. And yeah, I, I'll be able to get it in most of the poses that I want to. All right, uh, before we move on to the next segment, let's, let's put your helmet back on Luke, please. There we go. That covers Luke's baldness. Now let's get into accessories. This snow speeder Luke only comes with one accessory and that is his lightsaber. Um, I'm not really complaining too much about that. Uh, I guess almost, I think, yeah, pretty much every Luke that they make comes with a lightsaber. I think the only Luke that doesn't come with a lightsaber is probably the um, Stormtrooper Luke whenever he's disguised as a Stormtrooper. However, and I'm not complaining, I just think it would have been cool if maybe this Luke came with like uh, that tow cable that he used to to uh, grapple up to the at at so he could blow it up. I think that, that would be kind of cool if they had uh, also included that. But like I said, I'm okay that they didn't. The game is lightsaber, which is a very important thing for Luke to have. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much okay with accessories on that part. But now let's get back to the comparison with Pilot Luke. Now, one thing that I really want to do is, uh, while we have them over here, let's go ahead and compare the faces. I wanna see if the faces are drastically different. And here they are, guys. Uh, right away, I can kind of tell a few differences between these figures. Uh, of course, the, the New Hope Luke does look a little bit different since he <laughs> you can actually see his hair. Uh, I'm not sure why, but for whatever reason, the uh, Snow Speeder look looks older. Has anyone else noticed that? For whatever reason, the snow speeder look, looks like he's older than, which I guess it makes sense because the A New Hope Luke, uh, you know, was younger at the time, uh, as opposed to uh, how he was in Empire Strikes Back. I can't remember how many years were in between those two movies. But, um, I don't know, kind of had a hair here now that I look at this snow spear Luke the a new hope Luke to me personally kind of doesn't look like Mark Hamill I don't know why what do you guys think in fact now I'm curious uh comment down below which uh which Luke Skywalker action figure you think looks the most like uh the character looks the most like uh Mark Hamill in in your opinion because I'm actually kind of torn right now between which one of these faces I like the most. The point is that I can tell that it's supposed to be Luke, so I guess that's all that really truly matters when you think about it. Also, um, I feel like the Snow Spear Luke has a little bit of height on the other one. Then again, with uh, this body that we're seeing here with the uh, pilot Luke here I think it's the same body that's used for all the other uh, rebellion pilots um, not really gonna hold that against him I'm, I'm actually not sure if it was originally Luke's body first and then they just used it for all the rebel pilots or vice versa but I'm not really gonna hold that against uh, the pilot Luke both of these Luke's are pretty great but I think in terms of the overall aesthetic I like this snow spear look a little bit better. Um, in fact, I might I might do a video later on comparing all the looks that I have in my collection. 
which I think that would be pretty cool. Although the last time I did a top 10, no one watched it. <laughs> but at the end of the day, I'm really glad to have this figure. Um, I actually was not expecting them to even make a snow speeder Luke. And now that it's here, it might end up being one of my personal favorites in my collection. Is it my favorite Luke? Uh, I'll have to compare him to the other Lukes first before I can really make that decision. But yeah, guys, until then, that's going to do it for me here. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Comment down below if you have the Snow Spear Luke. What do you think about him? And also comment down below which is what is your favorite uh, Luke Skywalker action figure? that uh, Hasbro has given us. All right, guys, uh, be sure to follow me on my Twitter, as I'll stay updated whenever I have ideas for a video. And also, if you're into action figure photos, be sure to follow me on my Instagram, where I'll be posting all types of photos of my collection, many of which you don't see in my videos. All right, guys, until then, be sure to like, subscribe, and go to my channel, check out other videos.